Guess we're bringing it to YouTube. This is ridiculous, bro. All right, look, I was not even going to make a video about this, but if Easy wants to not only go live and make videos for YouTube and stuff like that about the situation, I'm not about to just let it be super one-sided, okay? You guys deserve to see the full picture and not the one that she's painting for you, okay? She's trying to make it seem like I'm being dramatic about a situation that wasn't that big. First and foremost, how would y'all feel if you come home and there is a random female acting crazy like she deserves to be here in your front yard, okay? All right, at first I believed her. Let me just, let me, hold on, let me just run it back. Let me just run it back. All right, I was spending the night at my sister's house, okay? Having a good time, yada, yada, yada. I come home in the morning to my house to see some psychotic girl in the front yard screaming and yelling at Easy. Now, of course, I pull up like, wait, what's going on? Like, who is this girl ready to jump out and like see what I have to do? Like, what do I have to handle? Because who is this girl? Easy's rushing me inside telling me, oh, the, it's a fan. Like, I think she's a crazy fan, whatever, whatever. So, of course, I believe her. That's my girlfriend. I believe her off rip. Okay. But there was a little, I'm not gonna lie, there was a little bit of suspicion behind, you know, in the back of my head because of the way the girl was talking. This sounded like a girl that is dating somebody and is super comfortable. She didn't want to leave. And I was trying to go talk to the girl. But then again, Easy was like, nah, this girl's crazy. Like, you need to come inside. So, we go inside side okay cool this was about a week ago some time goes by recently I'm missing a package I, I I'm like all right let me check the cameras let me see did somebody like like you know come up to the house and like grab my package because it said it was delivered so I'm looking at the cameras and see that this random girl is in my fucking bed she's in my bed she was not just uh, some random fan as Easy's trying to paint this picture, Easy woke up with this girl. She woke up with her, okay? So all of this, oh, you're being dramatic. I don't know how she even got into the house. How much sense does that make? You don't know. Not only was she in the house, she was in the bed, okay? She was in my bed. And if you were so innocent, why is that something that you did not tell me? Why is that not something that was one of the first things that you said? Because if I'm innocent, I don't care how crazy it sounds. I'm going to be like, this psycho was got in the bed with me, babe. Like, oh my God. Like, what, what if she was trying to do something to me? Like, I would have, that's where my mind would have went. Why did she leave it out? Why did I have to find out by looking for a package, going through, you know, a footage to see that this girl was not just outside, in my bedroom. Now this all just seems suspect to me and I know it's not just to me. I know y'all listening are like, oh shoot, Easy didn't say this. Of course she didn't say this, okay? But I didn't even go to being accusatory immediately. I'm like, yo, we need to talk about this. First and foremost, you never told me that this girl was in, in, in our bedroom, okay? I didn't even know that there was like a whole thing. There was stuff going on at the house. Like I knew that Easy went out, but I didn't know that there was people at the house and all of that, okay? So that that alone pissed me off. Like, wait, so y'all had a nightcap at our house? I didn't know about this, yada, yada, yada. Like we have a we have like a friend type of relationship. So that wasn't even really the 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 main point. It's just, I don't like people that I don't know in my space, period. Now she's sitting here trying to tell me, no, you know everyone that was here. Apparently I don't. And she's trying to paint this whole picture that she didn't know this girl was here. How much sense does that make? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. It makes zero sense. How do you not know this girl was in your house? So then now I got to pull more information out. And that is the part that's really pissing me off, guys. It's the fact that I have to ask a million questions to get anywhere. First and foremost, I shouldn't have to ask you so many questions. All this information should have came out from the jump. I end up finding out that, okay, she does know who this girl is. She met her out while they were out. Oh, 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 okay. Now conveniently, you wanna tell me that she, she's some fan that came up to you while you were out with your friends, but you just said that you didn't know her. 
And you just said you didn't know how she ended up at the house. Apparently, and that, but but all these other people come back to the house. All your other friends come back to the house, but you don't know how she got back to the house. You don't know how she got the address. You you had no more than a couple second conversation with this girl. What? But I'm being dramatic. I'm I'm being dramatic. This doesn't even make an ounce of sense. It doesn't make an ounce of sense. Somebody invited her here. Somebody invited her here for one. She didn't just get our address. She didn't just, it wasn't a party. It wasn't tons of people here. So it wasn't like, oh, she could have just like been invited by a random person. Da, da, da. No, somebody, whether it was easy or someone close to her, invited this girl here. Some girl I don't know. And she ended up in my bed. Now, here's the problem. Easy was drinking. Okay, and yes, I do know how easy it is, how she likes to have fun. We were best friends before we started dating. I still do consider her one of my best friends, but that is also the issue. I know she likes to drink. I know she, she likes to have fun. How am I supposed to believe that she didn't just get so drunk she doesn't remember certain things? Has she She's swearing on everything, nothing happened. This girl's just crazy, she's making it up. I know for sure I wasn't that lit. We don't know that. How do I know that? And that's the problem. That right there is the problem. How do I know? And you probably don't even really know if something happened. You don't even remember the girl being here, quote unquote, because who even knows? Because all this information is just coming out of the woodworks. The more questions I ask, I find out more bits and pieces of the story that did not come out right away. Now, I tell Easy, okay, you know what? This is not adding up. I need you to call your friends and we need to figure out how this girl got here. And I, in the meantime, between time, I need space from you because I'm not about to be laying up, kissing on you and stuff like that. And you don't even know if something happened with some girl that in the footage, okay, she wants to talk about, oh, she wants to air everything out. Y'all didn't see that footage. You didn't see the stuff that this girl was saying to my girlfriend saying and, and saying that they had and all this other stuff and saying that easy you know gave her all these empty promises this girl was trying to steal my stuff this doesn't just sound like some random girl this sounds like a girl that feels entitled to something why easy why does she feel entitled in my house why does she feel entitled to you that's the question that is the real question. So I tell Easy, I'm like, all right, I need some space and I need some time. All right. Like, that's too much to ask. That's too much to ask. It's too much to ask after some random girl was in my bed and you and none of your stories add up that I need time. That's too much. That's too much. So I tell her, all right, you know what? You go to your space. I go to my space, whatever. Now she's trying to make it seem like I'm being dramatic or like, but she's not telling the full story. She's telling what it, what's convenient. I've never in my life been in a position like this before because it's like, I love her and I have always trusted her. And you know, there's been a few situations in our relationship, but we've been able to work through everything. But a situation like this, it doesn't make sense. And I almost feel like an idiot to try to wrap my mind around it, to try and believe this crap. And if you easy are going to freaking start dropping videos and start telling people what's going on in our personal life, drop all of it. Show the video of this girl waking up in our bed from our bedroom footage. Show them. 